It's good job. It's well. We're going to see what messages we got. It's about 1229. I hope y'all out there having a safe, fun night. Okay. Some love and some party day. Out and about, safe. Okay, pay attention to me. Okay, get you. Um, make sure ain't nobody trying to shit in your drink. Don't let them fuck with I am. drinks. None of that shit. Be careful. Okay, I'm in the Okay, I have some unexpected income. Okay, 27. Okay, Great fortune. Big luck. Okay, 26, 27, 27, 26 years of age. So, um, Maybe something will happen once, uh, this month, 26 or the 27. It's the energy that I get. Some type of unexpected income. Okay, maybe you've been worried about how you're going to make ends meet of some sort. Um, maybe you may find some type of uh, an unexpected income, possibly an unexpected payment. In advance, um, new job opportunity. You may wake up and become a billionaire type shit. Maybe something that's going to spend some of it trying to manifest a new business opportunity or build bring some type of unexpected income. That business idea that you haven't been working on, that you doubt yourself about, maybe that's about to manifest. Okay? But like I said, you might have looked up someone of some sort. Okay? Somebody going to send you, mail you, some type of check in your account. Some way, some matter. They go. Some type of money is coming. Okay. Could be a Scorpio. I see. So um, be prepared for this unexpected income. Okay. This very fortunate coming in for you is the energy that I'm picking up. Back in Canada. I heard you talking about it. That, that song stuck in my head. Hey, it says, go where you love and celebrate it. Okay? Go where you love and celebrate it. So. I'm sorry, y'all had a fucking neck. I had to get that. Yes, yeah, so my life got in me. Oh, shit. Okay. 
So I don't know why I was channeling that song, but um, maybe you might end up running into some type of call or some shit. Okay? Which <laughs> kind of makes sense because I started off saying if you're out tonight, if you're going in the street, maybe in the streets or whatever. When your bitch we outside tonight type shit or could be a meal too man. some some shit tonight. So you're getting the energy you might end up some type of somebody is has a great status when it comes to their health. Maybe you got a business opportunity, you don't have the money to fund that business opportunity. Due to trauma experience, pain, things of that nature from the past, is the energy I'm picking up being around from others who didn't want you to get ahead of them type of shit. So they're never trying to put you with anyone or anybody. Okay. Um, I'm also picking up the energy of you in and out of jobs due to. The fact that it's not meant for you to work, it's meant for you to be your own boss. Okay, so for to be a boss, you have to be surrounded by bosses. It's the energy I'm picking up. So you might just be having a good time, whatever, out and about, and you're going to come up somebody who doesn't want anything in return from you. They just want to see you grow, um, and they want to see your business idea, if that makes sense. Okay, this is somebody who's already wealthy, who's financially secure. Um, there's no funny business, whatever business they have, it is legal, so you have to worry about. This person is most definitely to uh, put you in a room, have you surrounded by other bosses. Okay. And that'll be your step ahead. Okay, that's why this great fortune and unexpected income comes in. Because you've been trying to find ways and ask the most high God to bless you with multiple streams of income. And that's whatever that looks like to you. Okay, maybe you have a lot of ideas and you just don't have to. Okay, well, you just don't have this ability. You don't, like I said, you just, maybe you're stable. You just ain't got it like that just really struggle, don't have it. You don't have people you can call and borrow money from, like, you don't come from a family of wealth, okay? Or nothing was passed down from generation to generation, nothing was left. So basically, you always been a hustler your whole life. You always had to get up, go out, grind, and get it type by any means necessary. Some early bird. Early bird catches the worm type energy is what I'm getting here. Uh, a go-getter. Okay? And now spirit is about to reward you. Spirit is saying, look, you've been around motherfuckers who really don't even really fuck with you. They don't really love you like that. When you have small wins, they don't celebrate. They don't fly for you. They don't say congratulations. You know why? Old the time, you think it's hate. They secretly admire you. In your ambition, the fact that you never give up, you keep fucking been through hell and back. When it comes to um, business, relationships, finances, money, give everything that you got, okay? And God is saying it's time to celebrate yourself. I'm going to put people in place, okay? Put people out there, all right? Um, so that way, Whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, it's going to come to fruition. Okay, and I'm also going to record you from the traumatic past that you've been through since you were a child. So you could be someone who's been through hell since birth, been cursed since birth. Okay, you could be the black sheep of the family. Okay, you could be the one always been unemployed, but it's not due to you being lazy or lack thereof, lack of motivation don't have the right people that's placed in front of you to put you on, to show you how to save, 
to show you business management, money management, how to talk to people, how to dress, you feel what I'm saying, how to save, how to invest, LLCs, okay, private property, land, acres, things of that nature, you know, real estate, like whoever this person is, they're a boss, okay, and they're going to turn you to a boss. Now, what you decide to do with that, it's business with pleasure, that's on you. But this person is not coming to kill, still in the shore. They're actually out here trying to help you build and heal and grow. Hey, not bring you trauma like your past relationships or failed relationships were. This is something totally different, okay? So this is not someone who is just there for a sex in exchange for business or none of that shit, okay? This is something you've been manifesting 11 11 for a very long time and God is about to bless you. Okay, just be prepared when all them calls start coming in, emails and things of that nature, orders being backed up. You know you won't be able to keep up. But God got you and he will put too much in, in your uh, life that you can handle. So just be prepared, right? So know who you are if you've been trying to manifest becoming your own boss, business person, business woman. Eleven four is about to come. Sent to you as a blessing. Blessings come in all different forms, shapes, and sizes. Okay, and also remember that. Because someone is doing something for you, do not let your emotions get take control over a situation when all you should be doing is using logic. Okay? Because when you put your emotions in things, you are easy to be um, prayed over 1222. Okay? So think logically. Think. This person is coming to me as a blessing. Whatever they give me, I'm going to save it. Whatever they give me, I'm going to put into my business. And when I make something back, I'm going to make sure I'm, they look, I look out for this person, regardless of if they accept it or not. Okay, 1244. God is removing anything, no matter whether that's a person, place, or thing. It's not for you. Okay. And what I'm getting is you may have not even to go out, but God is pushing you to go outside. How do you expect something to come to you if you aren't outside if you aren't available? Okay, 1313. 13. How do you expect anything to come to you if you're sitting inside all the time? So like I said, this may be a specific uh, night that you didn't want to go out. And guess what? <laughs> and blessings going to come in. It's unexpected. Okay. This person is about to be sent to you as a blessing. This person is about to take off so many, uh, so much stress. Okay. You got a lot on your plate. Maybe you've been doing it a long time to be a mother or a father, masculine or feminine energy at this time. It Matter. But you could have been doing something on your own for a very long time. And no one ever offers you help or assistance, okay? You are a giver, you're empathetic, okay? You're always looking out for people. You look out for yourself, you're selfless and not selfish, okay? You might be one who gives your last, last meal, shirt, money. If you have it, you're giving. And you don't expect nothing. Turn and now it's your time to receive. Yes, spirit and the most high God, your ancestors are about to be sweet like the feds. Um, anybody have ever talk bad about you, 
salt on your name. Use you um, wanted to harvest your energy, wanted to manipulate you, lie, steal, cheat, take advantage. Um, just anything that was sent 1515 to kill, steal, and destroy is being returned back to sender. Okay, it's the energy I'm picking up. We had a lot of demons, a lot of voices that were uh, surrounding, block, also blocking your blessings as well. Also, hearing sex could have been blocking your blessings as well. It's the energy I'm picking up. We had cleansing and encountering spirits and demons. Okay, so. Whoever you surrounded yourself with didn't want you to win or see you win at all. Maybe someone is you codependent on them. Friends, family members, or foes. Okay, it's the energy I'm picking up. You may live in an apartment. Okay, but to you, it feels like a fucking mansion. Because you take care of them up to the T as if it was a mansion. Okay, and spirit seeing what you can do with a little bit. So he's about to bless you with a lot. All right, you're very... um. How can I put it? I don't want to say well put together. Of course, that would be a given. But um, you you appreciate everything that you have. And that's why this unexpected income, this great fortune is about to come in. Um, I'm also getting the energy of you living in an apartment. Um, your initials could be L R W V S K C or T. Okay, or maybe those apartment numbers. I don't know. But um, I'm getting the energy of whatever this unexpected in whenever this unexpected income comes in, you're gonna have a lot of people in your ear. Okay, um a lot of people on your phone, or whatever the case may be, old friends, old uh, situationships, um, ex-lovers, motherfuckers calling, trying to use sex and drugs, anything to manipulate their way back into your life, okay, is the energy I'm picking up, and spirit is telling me, bet not, okay, release these demons, they don't want shit from you, but to kill, steal, and destroy is the energy I'm picking up. Okay. Use your third eye, okay, and just pay attention, okay, to the energy around you. All right, um, pay attention to the people there while you, before you came up, when you were walking. Remember them days I was walking? Okay, then they would fall like spot. You feel me? So look, abundance coming in. To also be an Aquarius or a Libra. All right? Or an Aquarius or Libra is going to come back in your life. Then I say, Nart, control somebody who appear fraud as fuck. They're false as fuck. Okay? They throw the fuck off. All right? And they don't shit from you. Okay? This could be people from you. Spirit is telling you, not go back. I bless you. Your blessings are yours, 1844. Don't go giving to people who ain't never gave you shit. Okay? Don't be a fool. Be ignorant with money. Okay? Don't be ignorant with these blessings. All right? Move around. Okay? You might have to relocate type shit. Like I said, you could be in a first or leave or dealing with it. It's the energy I'm picking up. Followed by the abundance call. Got abundance, unexpected income, all the and we got set up. Okay, so you need to be careful with um, who you surround yourself with. It may be some friends of some sort. I don't know what this is for, but um, somebody something from you. Maybe somebody feels like they owe you, owe them something. So you need to be picking up. At the present time. Yeah, masturbate, but it's in reverse. So somebody's going to try to use sex as a way to come in 
okay, and um, take advantage of them. Okay? They're going to use witchcraft, some type of sexual um, sexual ritual of some sort, some type of sexual ritual to keep you stuck because once they find out that have what you have because the streets talk, that's how they're going to find their way back into your life. It's the energy that they're picking up. Got yeah, King in reverse, Queen in reverse, and PTSD on the other side. Highest frequency is love. Okay, when you were trying to give that, when your cups were empty, you were pouring from an empty cup. It's King in reverse. Okay, it's the energy I'm picking up. They caused you PTSD, whatever the fuck they put you through. Yeah, use your third eye. The spirit is telling you. We have been seeing these numbers. Okay? These angel numbers. All right. Because spirit has been warning you not go back. So I got something for you. You got surprise pop. Now you got people coming to your crib, knocking at your door, trying to kick you with the bobos. Oh, let's go out. Let's do this. Let's do that. It's all the setup. So they can take from you and leave. I draw like they did the last time in the cold. It's the energy I'm picking up. Okay, whoever this person or people are, they betrayed you for them. It's the energy I'm picking up. You have betrayal at the bottom of that card. Okay, this person or people have betrayed you. All right, it's the energy I'm picking up. People laughed at you when you talked about your spiritual journey. Okay, it says don't believe in spirituality. These people didn't even believe in your spiritual journey, your dreams, your downloads, your visions. People didn't believe in your vision. Okay? People were doubting you. People said you couldn't do it. People were questioning how were you going to do it type shit. Okay? And the fact that people downplayed who you were as a person and you were always genuine Never switched up, you never been, never fold. Out about the play of bless you. And these people could have tried to play you out of some, tried to rob you. And the spirit is telling you, I'm bless you, it's in fold. Okay? Yeah, coach and lesson. All right? I'm here too, can play that game. But I ain't gonna play Phil. All right? It's the energy I'm picking up. Maybe you're the you're a giver and you're um you're uh you like acts uh how can I put it on uh, acts of service, okay? You're a giver you like to give material things or gifts and things of that nature. And every time we have angel numbers we got um angel numbers, okay? We have angel numbers and then we have receiving karma and Satan. You might be the type of energy that you love, you love hard, or your heart on your, your heart on your sleeve. And it's like you give and say you can't give no more type shit. You always give it to everyone. You don't expect anything in return. And then when you need something, these people or this person is never there for you. Because they're only here to harvest your energy, to learn your ways, to be a doppelganger. Okay, it's the energy I'm picking up. These demons work with uh, drugs, uh, mental illnesses. They prey on anxiety, depression, PTSD, uh, people living in poverty. Okay, sometimes these demons jump from one body to the next body, so you're really looking at the same demons in different bodies. All right. But, like I said, um, these people just wanted to harvest your energy, harvest your time. They never cared about you. You never fit in. 
It was always the outcast. Like she. Okay, now I'm picking up family heavy. Okay, if it's not family, it's a friend. It's the energy I'm picking up. It says, it says confirmation. Please, people. Please, God, my people. So you might have been the type of energy that was a people pleaser. And it wasn't something that you was doing purposely. You know, you just start putting two and two together. And you start realizing, damn, I'm always there for people in and put there for me. And God is telling you I'm here. Confirmation. I'm right here. When the air time and people left you in the dark, you need to show the crowd. I was right there. You felt my arm. You felt my breath. You feel what I'm saying when I blew into your ear. You felt that. You feel my hands hugging. Okay. These people had you uh, miss a lot of opportunities. All right. Just trying to please them and not make them feel left out or in the cold the way they make you feel. And it says, don't block your blessings trying to let people deceive you and take advantage of you. It's okay to have a good heart, but love people from a distance. Love people with a long silver spoon. Okay, if your cup is empty all the time, from an empty cup, when are you ever full? You got your priority. It's time to make you a priority. And since you didn't have the strength to let these people go, the most high God is about to release them on top of giving you this great fortune and this unexpected income that's about to come in. You've suffered enough. It says, look out. Cos cosmic for, look out. No, it says, look out. Cosmic gift. It says, be confident. It says, you are rich. Okay, angels always leave you something. Okay, dropping coins. Okay, so I don't know what it looks like to you, this unexpected income of great fortune, but your angels always leave you something. Okay, so maybe you've been finding change out of nowhere. Your hands could have been itching. Um, maybe uh, it could be the fact that you blessed that lady two weeks ago with some money or you gave that person a ride or you fed that person that you needed to eat. Just had a conversation with someone. Try to talk to them out of trying to take their own life. I don't know what it is or what you do for the kingdom, but you're about to be blessed tenfold. And it could be some things that are just so small and so tiny. As far as giving someone or an animal, homeless person, something. Okay, maybe giving someone clothes, clothing. You know, a hot meal, cooking something, something, giving someone money, just telling someone, just maybe you probably could be the type of energy that they pray for you. And God is God sees that. Okay, didn't I tell you you're gonna go out? Or, <laughs> didn't I tell you you're about to go to some type of gathering, some type of party? I don't even know what this is for you, bro. Okay, but. Wherever you're about to travel to, you got spread energy, travel, and um, like I said, wherever you're about to travel to, or whatever you're about to do, might be taking a plane right now to go somewhere. Yeah, I don't be jet or wherever. Uh, you about to meet this person, okay? We got Earth Angel. Okay, you're about to meet this person. All right, and it's gonna blow your mind. They don't want nothing for it from you but to help you grow into the best version of yourself. They don't want to see nothing but happen to you. Instead of you thinking, why is it happening to me? Think, damn, this is happening for me. 29, 22, this is not happening. Everything is working for me for the greater good, it's high as good. Start to change the renewal of the mind. That's when the blessings come in. Think lack thereof. Or I don't have, or I'll never get out of this, or I don't see the light at the end of the tunnel. tunnel. All that doubt turns into fear and hate and ego and pride. God don't want you to operate like that. God wants you to operate out of love. That is the highest vibration on this earth. And some of us are still trying to figure out how to do that. 
on top of monthly traumatic experiences and still holding to our black past because it's not easy for everybody to heal. That's a job that's, that's never ended. That job is much harder than clocking in on your daily job. Okay, But it says they're afraid of who you are about to be. Okay, so there is a group of the folks who are against you. This might be a whole tribe of folks in your family. It's the energy I'm thinking of. Motherfuckers do not like how you are 30, 30. They don't like how strong you are, how confident you are, how when you step in the room, you demand respect. Okay? You're the type of person, you ain't got to like me never. You will respect me in the presence when I'm right here. Fuck what you say behind my back or to others, but why I'm alive and well, I'm not finna let you play on the top. You that type of energy. You demand for respect. I don't know who you are, but you are that type of energy. You not let people try to play with you. And it's you're like this, and you're so strong because of your traumatic past, your experiences have molded you to be this strong person where can't nobody break your spirit or your soul, soul and nobody shit. You may be an earth angel. You came here to heal other people. People don't like it. Like why would we like somebody waking people? Trying to change them from getting them out the dark to the cold. I mean, getting them from the dark and leading them into light, showing them a different path. Why would somebody like why would somebody want someone around to try to help them uh, not be an addict anymore, or get them help, some type of rehab facilitation. Why would I? Why would these people want you doing? Because they didn't have the power. They didn't have the knowledge. They didn't have the wisdom. No one likes the truth, and they may be, they may have an addiction. So why the fuck would they want you coming around with your sober ass mind? Their vibrate low. Want you to help a person. Was an addict or mental illness or um, with health conditions like why would they want you giving herbs to people, healing the sick, having healing hands, and being able to lay your hands on somebody in the name of Jesus and rebuke any type of evil spirit or entities entities inside them? Nobody wants that type of shit. You know why? These motherfuckers want you cancer, deceased. Okay, this whole family curse. And you were the one to step up to break these generational fucking curses. You've been waking up to everything. You want some type of spiritual awakening and you have not stopped. Okay? You may have changed your eating habits, your health. Start eating things with more protein. You may have grew a fucking garden. Okay? You might have fucking cats. Dogs. I don't know. Maybe a fucking farm. But you've been waking up. You ain't been eating meat, you ain't been drinking, you ain't been smoking. Maybe motherfuckers feel like since you ain't been that you own something else. They don't like it. They feel like something wrong with you. Maybe they feel like you the demon. Something is wrong with you because you change it. You're not doing the things that you once did before because you're waking up. 33, 33. You've been mastering a whole bunch of uh, knowledge, trying to be the jack of all trades type shit. You're trying to master everything. You're taking a lot of knowledge in. Okay? Been reading books. Maybe you found a spiritual family that you can talk to. It's like minded on like you and on the same vibration as you doesn't. And this is not to point out for people. Not to point fingers at people who have addiction problems and have eating bad eating problems and um sexual uh, demons attached to them. Okay, maybe you masturbated. Maybe you were addicted to sex. Maybe you were the alcohol, the whore, the drunk. You feel what I'm saying? And God save your soul. Maybe you have uh, decided to turn your life over and close that chapter in your life. And they don't like that. You decide to give your life over to the most high God. Maybe you're the type of energy that reads scripture as a Bible. Praise the Lord. Some happy you always say it's God. Nobody wants to hear that. Hey, nobody likes 
the most high God. So nobody don't want you to hear you vibrate low. Nobody don't want a sober body or no sober black uh vessel while I'm doing what I do and I'm operating um like saying, okay? And these paper people wanted you to stay in that vibration. If you don't come around no family functions, you don't come to gatherings because the most high God has changed the renewal of your mind, changed your health, added more years and time of your life. Maybe you're playing, maybe you want to travel or maybe you want to uh save money, you want to go to the casino, like you want to live, you don't want to just be here and existing. You want to live and you actually want to experience life and God is about to change that for you. Okay. And maybe people are sitting around behind your back and you don't even know this, having secret conversations about you, hoping that you don't make it, okay, that you give up. And this could be the devil riding your back. These could be voices that you're hearing telling you to give up on life, not to start a business out there, not to relocate, not to cut people. You're probably hearing a motherfucker telling you it's over. I ain't shit. Yeah, you're right. I shouldn't be here. No one loves me, you know. I don't have support. I don't have people who love me. Like, that's doubt, fear, insecurity. All that shit is of Satan. Okay, it's what I'm picking up. Wow, we got lovers in reverse. Sleepless nights. So, for some of you, this is a lover who's in competition with you. Got three, six, three. This is a lover who's in competition with you, who's insecure about your ideas, your dreams, the way you dress, the way you look, the fact that you're beautiful, the inside and out. This person knows that you shine bright as well. And out. They know that. So, your lover is in competition with you. It's the energy I'm picking up. The lover don't want you to get ahead of them because they feel like if you get 10 steps ahead of them, you're going to leave them and find someone 10 times better and, and know your worth and stand in your power. And they're not going They need you codependent on them. It's the energy I'm picking up. If this energy is 37, 33, you could have been with for a long time. Maybe this person causes you to have sleepless nights or can't eat a drink, or this is their energy transferring down to. to you because the devil is right in their back. They're fighting demons. And them demons are now everywhere. Surrounding. Causing you to be uneasy. Okay? Stomach pain and things of that nature. So this person doesn't want you to get ahead of them. This could be someone you've been in a relationship with. You want so much more for yourself. And they're doing the bare minimum. Maybe you're trying to be a power couple, but this person is in a relationship as if they're dating their self. It's like they want to relate. They don't. They like the title, the sound of having someone, but the idea of having a crown, they could care less is the energy I'm picking up. They're doing a bare, bare minimum. Personally, do what you allow them to do. Okay, so this person uh, will never change. They're sad in their face. They don't look better. Okay, it's the energy I'm picking up. Um, the fact that they don't want better for you is fucking ridiculous. Okay, maybe you try to find job, job opportunities and this person shoots you down or they don't support your business idea. But they're giving you very, very little to build your business up. Meanwhile, they're manifesting and building um, and investing in themselves. But you're, you know, on the back burner, it's like they come to you a little too late. It's the energy I'm picking up. They don't take you, you serious as a person. Okay, this person overlooks your feelings, your emotions. Um, they're not authentic, authentic. This is a person, that's why narc and control came out. This is a person who tries to control everything you do. They had GPS, tries to track everything you do because um, they're in fear of losing you. They know they don't deserve you. 
because they're doing the bare minimum for you. Okay, this person doesn't compliment you, don't tell you they love you, how wonderful you look, they appreciate you, or none of that. Maybe these things were done at the beginning of the relationship, the first six months. You know, when they love bomb you, they try to hide who the fuck they are the whole time. They're a demon. You thought this person was your soulmate the whole time. They can't even stand you. See, they hate you. Like, this person really hates you, but all at the same time, all in all, they still want to be here and they want you around to harvest your energy. That's what I'm picking up. And I'm also hearing maybe this person doesn't want to be alone. They also have child in reverse. So not only is this person a demon to you, this person is a demon to your children or your child. We have Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. We have a cult. Somebody could be in some type of secret occult that you're dealing with. We also have using scripture to manipulate you. So maybe this is the type of energy that um, if something occurs, they try to use scripture. If they don't try to use scripture, they always bring up God a lot to kind of silence you or shut you out. Okay, it's a some type of tactic that they use against you. I don't know why the fuck they do this. But they use scripture to manipulate you, to mind fuck you, to brainwash you and act like they're on a spiritual journey or they understand your spiritual awakening or whatever the case may be a whole time and they're just using you. Then I'm also getting the energy of this person to trap you for the child, to keep you stuck and stagnant so you can't um, get ahead of them. Okay? Maybe someone wanted a child and they're neglecting their own child due to their selfish ways, their demonic ways. Um, is the energy I'm picking up. But this person most definitely I'm also hearing you could have had some complications going first. This person is just evil and demonic. Okay, it's what I'm picking up. This is the type of person that sees you need help, see you sick, see you cold, um, to see you need something and they won't budge. There's no sense of urgency. They take their time, they drink, they feed when they come to you. We got bail and warning in reverse. The karma coming to you. It's a trust in the process. God got you. You a star seed, baby. You a star seed. You got deported and bank fraud. You could be dealing with an illegal immigrant. Is the energy I'm picking up. Someone uses something, um, really don't care about their child. They put them on the side. They act as if they love their child. They act as if they love their 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 family, their ready made family, whatever the case may be. Forty four one or forty four four the whole time. It's a facade. Someone can't stand you. Someone can't stand your child or children in general. Someone is just evil. And it was all the set up to keep you stuck and stagnant. It's the energy that I'm picking up. They use this kid as pawn. This is the type of energy that like we dog the fuck out of the person that they love most, whether it's their own child, their girlfriend, their wife, whatever. And then put other people outside on a pedestal. But treat them with respect. Be right there hand and foot type shit. So this is the person that wants to look good on the outside. But on the inside, 
at home, their baby on demon time. And they treat this earth angel like shit. You could have been with somebody two to six years or five to six years or whatever. I don't know, but this person has some history. We have fentanyl and overdose. Somebody hasn't been the same since something happened to them. We have fentanyl and overdose. Maybe somebody was given something. At a party, it's also the energy I'm picking up on. Something could have occurred at some type of gathering. It was some type of celebration. Everything, that's probably why the lovers is in, in reverse. Somebody set up poison and something with a youth, something on a GMC or a truck, a black truck, something was done for money. Somebody could have been, somebody called order some type of hit out on somebody and something could have been done. So maybe when your person has so much history to the point where they're backtrack and actually two and two together for real, for real, something occurred between your partner at some type of gathering, some type of celebration, you and um somebody was poisoned, set up. Okay, because we have fit no Oh, Jesus Christ. Fitting on that over Earth Angel. So I'm getting the energy of your person or your lover that have been set up with this past, present, or future fucking energy is, is what I'm getting. And they haven't been right since. Maybe someone needs to go fucking get some type of help. Got three months and ring. Three months. Be expecting some type of this some type of phone call or visit. Okay, between the twenty seven and the twenty eight. Yeah, you're not giving them your energy. In three months, something will occur. Okay. Spirit is telling you, please do not second guess this bond because this person is told the fuck off. Whether they, whether they were set up, whether somebody tried to take somebody up out of and play like it was an overdose, or whatever the case may be, or um, was given something synthetic. Or maybe it was some type of drug that somebody gave somebody. And I'm getting the energy of spirit is saying, it's no, no. It ain't nothing to think about. Okay? Don't second get shit. Fine, it's over. It's over with between you and this person. Okay? It's the energy I'm picking up on. And spirit has been, um, spirit is also urging you to not be afraid. Okay, maybe you're thinking about walking away from an energy, all right, and second guessing yourself about uh, leaving this person because y'all have a child or history together. And Spirit is telling you, oh, no, sir, we follow. This person is a demon. I don't know what history y'all have. You want to be in the jail or under the jail, this person would be in, in prison or under the prison, I'm sorry, due to the shit that they do, okay? Got disconnect from the matrix. All right, this person is demonic. Take your energy, pray, and meditate. Protect it. Okay, God, spiritual team. All right, so this person has a lot of demons attached to them. They definitely need some fucking help. I don't know what they done. Was history you have? Let them go. It says I ain't even read this on abundance card. It says, at the right time, I, the Lord, make it happen. Isaiah 60, 22. Okay, God finna make things. Ooh. It's the energy I'm picking up. It's unexpected income. This great fortune is coming in. Okay, after all this shit, you done been through, you been healed. You know you are love. Okay, you are divine love. Everything is about to balance itself out. You don't have to worry, don't worry about somebody trying to hurt you at night, looking over your shoulder, feeling like the devil. 
bag. You can't slip. You can't eat. You can't drink. This person is disturbing your peace, your happiness. You know, the spirit is urging you to get back to that little child that you once were. You were always happy. This person stole your happiness. That you have a permanent, depressed, you feel what I'm saying, type energy surrounding you because that's not you. This is this person's demons and face transforming down to you. Okay? And they're going to receive from the things that they've done to you. It's the energy I'm picking up. You have trials and tribulations. Everybody want to be used and everybody want to be chosen, but they can't. Many are called, but few are chosen. It's going to be you booking flights, booking, booking trips. It says, you know why God chose you. Okay, don't try to turn no blind act, act like you ain't the shit. Like, come on, man. You feel what I'm saying? Pat yourself on the back a little bit. Okay, it's the energy I'm picking up. It says, share, save, and help someone else. I don't know what that's about. Maybe this is telling you to be more giving. Okay, or this is telling, this is just your energy showing up and it's reason, freedom saying that you're always saving someone, always helping someone else. You're always sharing and giving your last to someone else and it's your time. Okay, you may be an influencer. You're about to shoot the fuck off. Either it's going to go viral, viral or your channel is about to do some fucking numbers. It's the energy I'm picking up on. I have a story to tell, and that shit is going to get you this unexpected income, this big fortune. Your platform is about to hit numbers once people see who you really are, once people see why you did what you did. Okay, once people see why you built a platform, maybe you're about to go viral. Maybe you're about to receive unexpected income from different social media platforms. And you've been working hard, and you haven't been receiving any rewards. And Spirit is saying, I got you. Keep going. Keep doing it for the kingdom. Keep saying, my God, 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 God. Continue to bless you and protect you. Touch not my anointing. For those who go against you, it's the energy I'm picking up. Okay? Yeah, jackpot. Some of y'all, y'all might be, y'all about to hit big at the casino and scratch off a lottery ticket. Okay? It's the energy I'm picking up. You're about to be this wealthy man or this wealthy woman. Okay? That's what I'm picking up. God did it. <laughs> it say God did it. Always was the one getting the short end of the stick. It say God, God did it. And guess what you got on top? Family room. This family is dark. It's functional. Shit may look good put together, but the house is empty, dark, and quiet, and demonic. There's no love in this house. There's no love in these family members. There's no love surrounding these family members. There's no love when it comes to this boyfriend and girlfriend. God is about to remove every obstacle, any blockages in your life that is hindering you from having the genuine relationship with him himself. And that's what this is all about. Okay, it's the energy I'm picking up. It's time for uh, two things to come in. All right, you've been doing the same shit, repeating the same cycles, and ain't getting shit in return. Masculine, chunking up the deuces. Okay, you could be dealing with a motherfucker who likes to leech off of you, feel like you owe them something, complain, bitch, moan, nag, unappreciative. Won't cook, won't clean, won't dish, won't do shit. Wait for you hand and foot. Don't have no ambition, no end goals. Don't want to do shit all day. It's the energy I'm picking up on. Somebody feels like you're obligated to take care of them or you owe them something. Okay, this is someone who just don't want to do shit all day. Don't want to take care of themselves. Don't want to go have fun. Neglect their, their self, their health. Children, whoever. Okay. This person is lazy and they only here to eat off of you. Okay? They're only here 
because you're allowing it. Like I was saying from John, 54, 54, this person does the bare minimum. You could be dealing with someone who's 54 years, 54 years old or about to be 50 or in their 50s. You could be dealing with an older energy just on one of the shit, whether this is a female or not. At this, at this time, it don't even matter. But somebody is sick of somebody's shit. Somebody is always there. Doing and doing while this one person just takes and takes and not trying to add to nothing is what I'm picking up. Okay. We have beautiful aura and halo. All right. You could be the type of person who breathes energy very well is the energy I'm picking up. Okay. We also have heal. God has his hands on it. Okay. And it says, show up and share your testimony. Whatever you're going to share with this net, this internet, that's going to be your big fortune and your unexpected income for some of you. Some of you may be walking away from a fuck who slept with somebody. You constantly kept taking them back. They kept kept taking them back and they kept giving you something. Going right back to the clinic or the hospital trying to cure that STD. Get rid of that STD. Probably had a fucking health scare. Motherfucker said you had. Uh, AIDS or some shit, HIV or something that you couldn't get, you thought you couldn't get rid of, and God spared you and, and protected you. Is the energy I'm picking up? Spirit is telling you, and God is telling you to walk away from this energy. It's not love, okay? This energy I'm picking up. Look, got welfare check, okay? Thirty-two, thirty, and twenty-three. Yep, a lot of people want your life, wants to be in your shoes. They don't even say what the fuck they got. They want everything you got. Couldn't even walk them out in your shoes if you gave them to them 20 minutes. Can't do shit. We got separation. God is about to continue to bring these ceremonies down, these stones, this karma, fire, all this rage. Because people is out here playing with your name. Okay. These people wish they were so bad. It's ridiculous. That's why they can't stand the thought of to hear your name, to be in the same room as them. They deal with you because they already know not to play with you because you demand respect. I don't give a fuck they are. But these people really can't stand you. You can feel that energy. You can read that energy when they come around. You can feel it. You know why? Because you are of light. Demons can't stand light. Darkness don't like the fucking light. The light can always face the darkness because the light always been the light been through darkness already. So they can withstand the time. But when you've been in the dark so long, you don't know what the fuck light looks like. You you'll never be able to see the light at the end of the tunnel. You think this is it for you right now. The here and the now, this is it. I don't want better. I don't want better nothing. This is it for me. There is no more job opportunity. Like, and a lot of times people get to a certain age where, but like, this is just an example. If they experience health conditions, they are already given up mentally. Okay? It starts in the mind first. You feel what I'm saying? So once a motherfucker realizes, like, oh, this is it. This is how my life looking. Nothing is going to change. This is setting stone. That's when they start operating and living out of fear. And the most high God, I keep telling y'all, did not give us the spirit of fear, but God gave us the spirit of a sound mind and a sound mind. And a lot of people aren't operating out of love. That's why so much stuff going on in the world. If you want me to keep it above, real. Motherfuckers be, be swearing that they dealt for you and I'm always be there. I'll look out for you and things of that nature. But honestly, Look around and see how many people be around when you go through that stone. And it's not, and this this is not speaking on everybody, but just specific people. Okay? Who right there when you be going through that storm? When you uh go through that storm? When you going through, uh... And you feel like you can't see no light. Who going through that storm with you? 
Is it them people that, that, that say they're going to be there all the time? Or is it the most high God? It's, uh, people's mouth say one thing, but they, they, they actions do enough. And you got to be careful when people run in their mouth because the words don't, don't they not matching up with the action. Must be some truth. Cause here it go, my pipe, my pipe. So I'm gonna stay right there, man. Been doing good all the same. All the same, you've been doing good. Okay, we got moving the fuck on and tired. Okay, I told y'all somebody tired of somebody shit. And we got wealthy woman number seven. Somebody is fucking tired of the same shit over and over and over and over. Like I said, God is anything that ain't for you. Right, so you had a motherfucker who playing, was playing fake busy all the time. I wonder why you finna be blessed and highly favored. You finna walk in this abundance and this new uh, chapter of your life. This person kept tabs on you, bro. It's listening to phone calls and dancing. Okay, just to see what you have going on because they a trickster type shit. Could have been dealing with somebody a straight fucking narc, a hoe. Like they'll they'll do some dirt outside and come to your house, come in the crib like they ain't do shit. You know what I'm saying? You got decline and fake busy. So when you sitting up here trying to reach out to this person, they hanging up on you all the time. They entertaining somebody else. They ain't got time for you. They treating you like shit, giving you the cold shoulder, not sleeping next to you at night. It's respecting you and putting you down because they're giving their time and energy to somebody else. When a motherfucker starts treating you like shit, it's because they are giving their attention and time to another person. If they were once calling, texting, and doing it, you gotta make this shit make sense. So you dealing with a motherfucker, you got to constantly just keep. And this is another thing, shoe on the other foot. You may be the one that's having to do all the track phone. Listen to messages because this person is playing around with you, mind fucking, telling them they telling you they got to do this and they got to do that. Whole time they're not busy at all. They the man, they've been off work hours ago. They fucking off in the streets type shit it's, and trying not to get caught. This is the type of energy that don't want you to be outside, but they'll be like, but they outside. Get you we outside tonight, like they that type of energy. You know what I'm saying? Sneaky. I keep seeing sudden wealth. We got 11. Sudden wealth. I've been seeing that a lot within the last few weeks. This for me too, shit. It's sudden wealth. We got bankruptcy. Okay. And it says don't reach out to them and distract yourself. Okay. Do not reach out to them. All right. So spirit is telling you not put too much time and effort in into uh focus on what this person is doing. Use that time to focus on you and yourself. Okay? And plan or plot plan your escape plan to get the fuck away from this person. We have suffered a horrific childhood. Didn't I tell you that you've been through so much that it's long overdue. You need help. You need assistance. And you've been hollering, telling God, I can't do this by myself. All right? You surrender. And the fact that you surrendered and changed your life over, all this good shit is about to come in for you. It says, use your spirit of discernment, trust your intuition. If something is off with him or her, let it go. The spirit is telling you that. Okay? I'm also getting your person could have suffered a traumatic childhood or horrific childhood. That's why they treat you like shit, but there is no excuse. I'm looking at two unhealed people. Maybe you and your person are trauma. Y'all both been through traumatic shit and spirit is telling you no. 
That's not the way to go. Both show uphill. Or it's going to constantly be storm after storm after storm after storm. You'll never see the sunshine. You know you can't trust this person. I'm also getting maybe this person checks what you do, check what this person does. If you have to do that, you shouldn't be with an energy. If you gotta keep tabs on them, do secret shit, secret codes or cameras and certain shit, certain technology, trackers and vehicles and um, laptops and things of that nature, like spirit is telling you now. I gotta go through all that to show that you prove that I love you, then we shouldn't be together. It's the energy I'm picking up. This person lacks love and respect and compassion for you. This person has no respect for you until they want something from you. Okay, is what I'm picking up. It says speaking into existence and manifestation. We have fallen angels, shapeshifters, who can transform himself into what appears to be an angel of light. So somebody showed up and fight on your top. They knew you were spiritual, and they used church spirituality, Bible scriptures, and verses from the Bible to pray on you. Okay? And manipulate you so you can stay with them. It's the energy I'm picking up. It faked like they was into your spiritual beliefs. And it was all a tactic for the devil, the enemy, to lure you in. A little do this person know. Um, is the fact that you got the most high God alright and maybe this person told you that they'll never do you the way they're doing you and they're going to suffer I'm also getting the energy of when a person, when a person is sick okay or very ill a fallen angel, they can jump out of one deceased family member and jump into a healthy deceased family member. So this person demons, this person becoming a shapeshifter, the person this person is a fallen angel. The fact that they are they are those demons, those spirits, that energy is passing and jumping into you making you sick. Making all those illnesses or demons that they have attached to them, they're coming to you. We have great cloud, cloudy fog, and mirror. Okay. And we also have God take over my eyes, my ears, and my mouth. Okay. No sleep wakes up angry because, okay. So I'm getting the energy of now this person of Satan. But this person is so angry, so bitter, and so demonic that the way they eat shows you who the fuck they are. It's the energy that I'm picking up. So if this person eats unhealthy as fuck, that's causing you to be sick. You know, tell them what they're doing in what type of witchcraft they're putting up there as they have food. Okay? Or what they're saying. Is it really made with love? Okay, it's your gym picking up. So picking up. You have good sleeping habits and eating habits. Okay? But this person doesn't. It's not balanced. Nothing is balancing itself right now. Okay? It's what I'm picking up. Y'all two different times. It's the energy I'm picking up. Okay? I be the to just be the healthy person, work out, you know, run a track, um, 
maybe do a little yoga or meditate. You know, you're just trying to balance life out itself and do things different. This person's setting their ways, they're stuck in their ways, their bad addictions, their bad eating habits. Um, maybe somebody has a sex addiction. Whatever this person is doing and however they are to you is blocking your blessings. That's it. That's all. One ten ten. They block in everything that you got going. It says hashtag careful. You have playing games. Okay. And neglect. This person neglects you. All right. They neglect you. They don't see you. They can't stand you. Maybe this person once provided or pays you straight all the time, and now they could care less. One ten forty four. Because maybe they know you're not going to say nothing, or you're going to continue to put up what they share. They know how weak you are. They can do anything to you, and you're going to sit there and take this shit. One eleven oh. Okay. But I get the energy of maybe this person, maybe this person treats you a certain way or neglect you because they don't take care of you. It's also the energy I'm picking up. Maybe they have a lot on their plate. I don't know, but either way, but we got this person uh, plays my games and they really don't like you. It's a strong sense of, I hate you, but I love you at the same time. That's how I know whoever this person is you're dealing with needs some help. You got this person could have went to a practitioner, got a read done, or got some type of spell work done over the energy I'm picking up. Or maybe they lied and said they went to a practitioner or tarot reader or whatever. Okay, just to instill fear in you. We got 22, everybody must go, devastated, and executed. I give myself permission to love myself. You make your priority become first. Okay? Animals. I don't know what that is. Um, maybe spirit is showing me that if a lot of animals have been surrounding you, okay, this, this animal is there for protection. To ward off evil energy or dark entities is the energy I'm picking up on. Have spiritual teacher or leader. Somebody is mad, uh, and you are going to be sorry. True power. Um, spiritual messages or messages in general. People just gonna judge and regardless. You can have good things to say, bad things to say. There are always going to be a lot of people who are after you, whether you're doing good or bad. So do why you do is what uh, I want to say. But somebody is mad that you're spiritual. Or somebody is mad that you're called to be some type of teacher or leader. And they don't like that. Somebody knows that the fact that you're um, this type of person or energy, they mad because... It's going to bring sudden wealth. Maybe you are on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all these social media platforms, and you're, you know what I'm saying, the words of wisdom out. Maybe you're waking up, and this person don't like that because they do know for a fact. Maybe they know that it's going to bring generational, wealth. I mean, generational wealth or money or unexpected influence. Is the energy I'm picking up, even though you wasn't expecting this. Okay? You was just trying to make a way out of no way. Needed to vent, maybe you needed to heal, and you just said fuck. And you push that button and you start talking. It's the energy I'm picking up. Not everybody got the strength or the courage to do that, to share certain things. Okay, it's the energy I'm picking up. Somebody just for these groups. Just can't stand the fact that you have a voice. Somebody wants to silence you and keep you fucking quiet. Don't want you to say anything because there is truth in the things that you say. Okay, it's the energy I'm picking up. That's exactly what I'm Somebody is mad. 
and you were called to do something. You don't this is the is what I'm picking up. Maybe you just start coming out your shield or your comfort zone. You just start standing in your power, start shitting what's how Okay, it's the energy I'm picking up. Call to do this. One just chosen call to do what you do. And he hate it. He hates you. They can't do what you do. It's not just what's on it's in you, and that's it. And this is the dangers of being a spiritual teacher, a leader, whatever the case may be. You're doing work for the kingdom. Trying to save souls is not easy. Your, your journey is not going to be like everyone else's. And you're going to get a lot of hate. It's going to always be the closest to the lover is your family. That's what spirit is telling them. So you get the fuck away from these people and take you heed because I'm telling you, they will try to set you up in the nation. These are people that can't stand the sight of you. They wish bad things happen to you. They will be hoping something happens to you. They, I feel like these people feel like, damn, if she was gone, the family would be a little better. You know what I'm saying? This message is good. Taking advantage of you pushed you away. Family and friends. You consider they can you said, I love you too. They don't mean it when they say it. But there is. But when you say it, it's genuine. You tell the person. Okay? They took advantage of it. Get up and live and find joy in something. Okay? Yeah, cheating, jealousy, and, and, and body shame. Cheating, jealousy, and body shame. Okay, and then we have Jim. I'm getting the energy of you could have been dealing with shake they motherfucking self. And always had something to say about your body. So, you're getting the energy of put on a certain outfit. Everybody has something to say to you. This is how powerful you will put something think nothing of. You're just putting something on, trying to be seen. And everybody is jealous of you. They're jealous of the way you walk, talk, style, the way you dress, all that. It's your unique. It may be a, a feature that you got, the way you talk. I don't know what it is, but you must be Pretty or fine as fuck is what I'm getting. These people envy you. They don't compliment you. You might step out with a fine outfit on. Ain't nobody gonna say shit, but maybe one or two people. You might have a hidden energy of you have a big family. Okay, is what the fuck I'm thinking. Also, here, maybe you have a big friend as well. Okay. And these motherfuckers can't stand you. Every time you get up, fuck away. Are the talk of the town. See what that bitch went? Why she dressed like that? She thinks she can shit on her. They didn't think she can shit on Yeah, I don't know, but jealous of it. It's something with your body. We have body shame. I don't know around you insecure about their body. But um, we all are insecure. Maybe we feel more than other But they're jealous about your shape. Shape of your maybe I don't say you work out, but the way your body looks, it looks as if you may work out or keep yourself up. Something I don't like that. Maybe people's health are deteriorating, your friends or your family's health is deteriorating, but love is deteriorating, and just everything you do, everything you wear, everything you say, they're gonna be pissed off because they miss you, and that's just what the fuck it is. Like, you. These motherfuckers big mad at you. They can't stand you. Telling you. True love feels free. In love with every moment, second of the day, allows you to be yourself. Okay, so I'm getting the energy of you. Don't even feel yourself around these motherfuckers. Like you can't be you. 
maybe there was a point in time where you was around certain motherfuckers and you know, you start realizing, damn, why I got to be fucked up and be around? You know what that means? Can't be you because they're going to judge you. Motherfuckers always got something to say. And that's the problem. People thinking you're crazy and stop the fucking but you hold saying you the right man. It's them. And you, you be around these motherfuckers and you feel yourself, but not yourself. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense. You was losing sleep trying to figure out how these connections would work out. People change. Praying for motherfuckers who ain't praying for you. Asking God to, forget, to fix shit that's already broken. Okay? It's the energy I'm picking up. Now you catching up on sleep from years ago from when you were being a people pleaser, putting other people before you. you Got to pay that price. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like motherfuckers don't like you, man. You got postpartum. And yeah, you could have just had a child and a motherfucker you had this child is they maybe motherfucker body shaming. It's the energy I'm picking up. And don't realize that you postpartum, you could have just had a child and shit with family and friends. And prayers to you if you are going through some shit like this because postpartum is not nothing to fucking play with. Okay? It's a real fucking thing. You have baby right here sleepless nights. It's a real fucking thing to be going postpartum and dealing with abuse, mental, mental or physical abuse, verbal abuse, any type of fucking abuse, especially when it comes from your lover and your friends or family members. Like I said, I'm, I'm picking up on you for all this shit and you may even have a child. Just had a child and you're going through postpartum and you feel like you're about to lose it and I'm here to tell you, hold the fuck up. Don't give up. Don't throw that towel in that shit. Shit may be hard. You could be dealing with a motherfucker had it, and you feel you're doing this shit by yourself, you're not getting sleep, you feel it. you're the worst fucking mother ever type shit, same energy I'm picking up, okay, and I feel like, and the reason, if a person is not there to, to keep you calm, Take a load off of you. See, eat your stress and your pain. Let them fuck. You. Meanwhile, you go postpartum. This person is worried about fucking. Okay? This person is worried about busting on This person is a liar. Suffer from food, meat, food, or drink. Okay, maybe somebody drinks a lot. They'll case me. They have fear and anxiety. So, all the time, you want to do two person does not care about your mental mental physical uh, or your spiritual well being is what I'm picking up. Okay? This person is evil, demonic and sinister and all they care about is them they, they damn sin. But they got to their own dose of they fuck dose of their own fucking medicine. Some shit about to change is the energy I'm picking up. Okay, we got punished Vindictive, cruel objects, okay, and security cameras. All right, so you reach your fucking third breaking point. I don't know if you set some shit up. The spirit is telling you to set some shit up. Then with this demonic energy, you could also be uh, domestic violence. Just had a fucking baby. Smart. Spirit is telling you don't give up. Son coming up. This motherfucker suffer. I don't know this person. They they use some objects or something. Whatever they did to you, this is gonna be true. It's your meal ticket out. It's your fucking way out. Not tell them all. But you plan on it. Keep quiet. Build your documents up. I get the energy of the motherfucker sitting here and spirit is telling you, bro. This is the best way. Okay? Set this shit up. Feel what I'm saying? person is going to flip the fuck out and this is going to be over for them. 
and you're going to get the big four Jesus payout. Okay. And this is not for everybody. This is just for some of you. Okay. This person going to end up with some type of hotel. Something is going to go for you. After all this is said and done, or whatever, you got, F, you got evil doctors, whatever, you got motel. You're going to end up having to dip the fuck out, you and your child, and get your motel across the state or country to some fucking guy losing it. Yeah. After this person realized you got the fuck away from them, they're going to stay fucking. They lie. Okay, meanwhile, you focus on what's ahead of you, your child, and your fucking self. This person passed, like, exposed, maybe exposed this person for dirty, uh, low-life piece of shit that they are, and they piss off about that shit. It's the energy I'm picking up. You, like I said, you sick, and you get your break. Okay, and this person wants you to sit on the ass all day. The body will in motion, stay in motion, the body press, stay at rest. So this person didn't want to do shit with you, do how with you, do help with you, do body with you, do Scripture with you do, church with you do, do nothing. No love is in the air. Then we take no trips. Then we go to the club. It's anything that has to do with living or experiencing life. They hated it because they maybe they felt like a part of them was dying. Maybe somebody is physically sick and they want you to feel the same way. This person suffered depression. They want you to suffer as well. How can they be happy? How can you, like, they want you to be happy in the midst of chaos and confusion. Oh, Sam, the devil is the art of chaos and confusion. So they pretty much want you to put on so however they're feeling. You gotta dance around this motherfucker feelings or walk on eggshells or, or beat around the bush. You feel what I'm saying? I but they feel in this specific day, they want you to feel the exact same way. They're happy, you're happy. They're down, you're down. This person was reject projected. That's the of living is to do what? Of living is to enjoy life while we are here. The purpose of life is to experience it. Get up, live, and find joy in life. But on the other side, we have selfish, stingy, and young. So I get the energy of could have been dealing with a person who was very stingy all while trying to help at the same time. But it's rules and stipulations when it comes to you. So I'm hearing Indian Giver. This is the type of motherfucker that'll give you something but uh, try to make you head back to them some way, somehow type shit. Whether that's your hard work or oh, I did this for you, well, um, you gonna go do this for me or i let you borrow, well, let me get some and so. It's the type of person who brags on how much they spend on you for the fact that they have to spend money. Whoever this person is, is very fucking miserable. They act like they're giving, but they stand as fuck. They put on a facade around certain people that y'all surround yourself with. Because they don't want to be embarrassed. But when it's y'all, they treat you like shit. Like you get to look at the narc treat you like shit and then when you go outside and see other motherfuckers, whether that's your friends, your family members, whatever, they they put on a they shape shift. They turn to someone else. They appear like they're helping, they're healing someone, they're blessing someone, giving some they feel good. This person likes to feel needed. Okay? This person likes to feel needed, but we need them. They never them. They there for everybody else, but the that you need. They're never there for you. If they are there for you, they complain and fix stuff. So bad that they're there for you because they have to stop what they were doing to help you out, and they don't like it. If they want to be everywhere for everybody else, and it's time to be there for you, they can't do it. It's time for a different journey, baby. Different path. This shit's gonna be over. I'm gonna be fucking tired. We got street. I'm gonna be on fucking street. Somebody gonna get their shit put out on the street. Maybe a motherfucking eviction notice. If you know you know. Alright? 
because let me tell you something. Uh, the most high gods and okay, you will suffer. Yeah. Financial hardships, no transportation, no shelter, no clothing. Heart troubles, health issues. Y'all better stop fucking over the heart of people. Seven. But never win. We got a motherfucker trying to pretend to be homeless. Just because they know good fortune is coming to you. They know they play. They know they from. And Spirit 7 still holds that door. Holds that chapter. Got something bigger and better that nobody can take from you. So this person is going to pretend to reach out and pretend to be homeless, pretend to be broke, pretend to be left in cold, all because you're on this new path. After they've been all the fuck out of you all these years, treated you like shit. Living with your family, treated you like shit, treated children like shit. Okay, so you're forced to make a big decision. All right, you are forced to make a decision in your life. That's if you see one animal. This is why animals came. One animal, one cat. I don't know what animal you see, but your spiritual ancestors been trying to reach out to you. 